The Zahat is a new Turkish amphibious armored personnel carrier, APC. It is also called Marine Assault Vehicle, or MAV. It was developed by FNSS to meet requirement of the Turkish Navy. Development contract was signed in 2017 and the project was called Zerli Amphibi Huka Maraklari, Zaha, Armored Amphibious Attack Vehicle. A scale model of the new Turkish amphibious APC was showcased in 2018. A prototype was first publicly revealed in 2019. In concept it is similar to the USA 87 that was adopted back in the early 1970s. Also the Zaha has broadly similar dimensions and specifications as the AAV-7. Though the Zaha is a brand new vehicle that is more advanced, Turkish Navy ordered 23 of these amphibious APCs, plus four variants. Production is underway. Deliveries are expected to begin in 2022. Interestingly Turkey never operated such class of vehicles before. This might be an indication that this country is devoting resources towards improving amphibious assault capabilities. The Zaha is being offered for export customers. This bulky amphibious vehicle was designed to be launched at sea from amphibious assault ships. The Zaha is seaworthy and can rapidly travel over short distances in the open sea. During amphibious assaults it lands troops on beaches and secures the coastline for ongoing troops. It was designed for forced entry into hostile territory. Also it can also deliver cargo and military supplies from ship to shore. Once ashore, it can operate alongside other armored vehicles. It carry troops and supplies further inland under armor protection. This armored vehicle can be also used for guarding checkpoints and patrolling. Turkey is expected to use its new Anadolu amphibious assault ship to deploy these vehicles. This APC has a hydrodynamic hull made of aluminum alloy armor. Aluminum hull has a far greater rigidity than steel. It allowed to reduce the number of reinforcing structures and create a more usable interior. Armor of the Zaha provides protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. It seems that add-on modular armor kit can be fitted for a higher level of protection. This vehicle offers some degree of protection against landmines and improvised explosive devices. Recent military conflicts revealed that the USAAV-7 is very vulnerable to mine blasts. This problem was addressed on the Zaha. There is an NBC protection system for the crew. There is also an automatic fire suppression system, as well as an unspecified countermeasures system. The Zaha is fitted with an unmanned turret. It is armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun and 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The Zaha is operated by a crew of three, including commander, gunner and driver. It can carry 21 dismounts in its spacious cargo compartment. Troops enter and leave the vehicle via a rear power-operated ramp. Alternatively, it can carry various cargo, military supplies, and even small vehicles. This amphibious APC is powered by a diesel engine. Developing around 500 horsepower engine compartment is located at the front. Engine is mated to an automatic transmission. Propulsion on water is provided by two water jets located at the rear. Maximum speed on water is 13 kilometers per hour. If required the Zaha can move on water by spinning its tracks though at significantly reduced speed. This vehicle can operate up to a C-State 4.